Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to hop back on here because I thought of something that somebody had mentioned in the suggestion box this morning. Um, somebody had said they wanted something easy at home up to, um, just like for your day or whatever. And so, I mean, everybody has their version of this called messy bun. Some people don't like their messy buns. Some people say I have the perfect messy bun. Not me, but like, you know, them saying like I have the perfect messy bun. Um, and which is totally cool. Whatever floats your boat. Um, but sometimes I get tired of this or sometimes I'm going out and I don't really want to just do this. I want to do something a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Um, and so I already showed you what kind of tools I use as in like hairbrush and comb. And a lot of time you could use dry shampoo, but there are some days where I'm in a rush and I don't have time to like really get it in or anything. And so I just want something really quick to get out of my face. Um, and so the nice thing about this hairstyle, first of all, I didn't know what to call it, so I decided ball cap buns because you usually put on a ball cap, and then I do two buns, and I call it good. Um, but one of the nice things about this hairstyle is you, the part doesn't really matter because it's obviously covered up by the hat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and literally just finger through and get two sections. Really, nobody's gonna notice the part because it's covered by the hat, which is great. I'm gonna use this little hat my grandma got me a couple years ago for my birthday. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I'm just gonna toss that on and then I like to do this style with the hat already on so that way like Say the buns like turn out different. I'm not like trying to squeeze the hat on um, So I just try and adapt the hair to the hat so um, But especially with some little face firming pieces at the end of this It's just it's a really good on-the-go style Especially if like I'm on a different hair washing day schedule and I haven't washed my hair in a while and it's greasy and gross um, if you really know me, this is the style you know when I'm having just a really long week and I just need to put a hat on and cover everything up and then it looks semi put together. Um, so we have the hat on and then I'm going to take this, I'm just going to start with this side. Um, I still use elastics. You're welcome to use scrunchies or really anything that you want to, but I like the elastics because... They're super stretchy, and these ones, for some reason, they're from Walmart. They're just clear. They're really strong. Like, I'm really surprised. Um, but I typically only use one. Sometimes, depending on how difficult my hair is being, you're welcome to use two. You can put little pieces away with bobby pins. But I think the secret to messy buns is that there is no secret. Like, every tutorial I've watched, I can never follow this tutorial. Um, so if you're good at following tutorials and you want to learn how to do this, great. But as far as a messy bun, you just kind of go with what your fingers let you do. In the beginning, I would literally scrunch up my hair into a ball and just put a clear elastic on it and nobody could really tell. Um, but now I kind of have a technique, so I think I'm going to go ahead and decide to show you guys how I do it. So I come around this side. It's kind of a lot of putting your arms behind your head. But I grab it and then I have the elastic. I pull it through and then I twist once and then I grab it again and then if the elastic allows me I will twist it one more time with my right hand and then I'm gonna swing the rest of the tail back around and into the elastic and I pull through in a little loop and then I kind of have this like little bow pretzel thing going on I never leave it like that because it kind of looks nuts um, but so this is where I kind of pull it apart. I really just kind of design it and just kind of make it however I think looks the least gross. And then since my hair is long, I typically have this little piece left. And so I'll just kind of bring it in front or around or really wherever I think it just looks best suited. Sometimes it takes a little playing around. Um, and then I'll literally just tuck it wherever I can find an elastic. Um, and the only reason that I like showing this or I would choose to show this is because um, it with the elastic it's kind of damaging for your hair and it kind of ruins your ends but for me when I do this I typically wash my hair that night or the morning and so I just kind of restore like whatever craziness I did so I think that looks pretty good and then this hair is already pulled back and it's already got some tension on it so I'll just quickly go back and I will grab some little face for me pieces. So I have that one done and then I'm going to take my second elastic. Um, got it like that. And then this, the only frustrating part about this hairstyle for me is sometimes they don't turn out the same. Um, so I am just going to pray that this 
looks the same. So I'm literally doing the same thing, but instead of my right hand being the one holding the elastic, it's my left hand now. Um, and this side is nicer because then I don't have to um, go in all the way around my head. So now I have this, and so now this part's a little weird because I gotta bring it around into the elastic that I'm holding, and then I'm gonna loop it through. So essentially, if I want a more uniform messy bun, all I have to remember is two loops. That's literally it. A friend of mine called it a rainbow bun because it looks like a little rainbow, which is totally fine. I think that's cute. Um, and so again, I have this little tail, so I'm just gonna kind of twist it, bring it back, and kind of shove it wherever I can. Um, but I don't know, I, I just felt like this was a good um, thing to show people because I always thought there was some key to messy buns and there's really not. Um, and I just thought that might encourage somebody. So we're having a little trouble with this elastic here. So I'm going to pancake it a little bit. And so see that to me, I don't like that. So I am going to take one of my bobby pins um, and I'm going to take the base of the elastic and I'm just going to kind of stick it to my head, come around where nobody can see the bobby pin and then through the elastic to my head and kind of underneath my hair and the hat, I'm going to stick the bobby pin. And now it's not as like, like wobbling everywhere. And then since there was nowhere for me to put the tail, I'm going to take another bobby pin in the same place. I, if you know me, I don't like um, bobby pins because I feel like no matter what or what you're doing, they're always going to show. Um, but again, nice thing about this hairstyle, you're wearing a hat and nobody's going to really see. Um, so I'm just going to keep click on, shove it under there. And I think that looks pretty similar. I'm just going to kind of pull it apart, do whatever. And then same thing, I'm just going to come and do some face framing pieces. So there are your ball cap buns. It's just kind of Space fun, kind of trucker, whatever you think. And then throughout the day, you can just kind of get messy. But I like to work outside a lot, and I like to just kind of be on the go. But this, I really don't have to think about my hair. It's all tucked away. Um, but I thought this was something kind of cute and kind of fun. It's better than just um, leaving it down or doing anything else. So uh, if, if you like it, let me know. If there's something you want to change, let me know. But I, what I love about this is you can really just make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly what some girl on Instagram says. It's just kind of you do it your own. But this is just how I like to do it. So I hope you guys have a great Esther day. Thank you for watching.